Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. I would like to talk today about Obama sending in the special forces into Syria. That's what he's claiming, even though over and over and over and over again, he keeps telling us we'll put no boots on the ground over there, and then out, come, out he comes with, oh, well, you know, we'll send in a few dozen military advisors to train, advise, and assist the opposition forces against ISIS. Now, that is not what they're doing here. I just want that to be clear. That is not what they're doing. And you can see that from the way Lindsey Graham spoke to Defense Secretary Ashton Carter and the general kept interrupting them when they were talking about defeating ISIS being the priority here. Lindsey Graham would interrupt them and say, well, are we going to get Assad? We got to get Assad. We must get Assad. That's the narrative here. They want to get rid of Assad. But guess what? Assad is being protected by Russia and Iran. And we're not going to get Assad, Mr. Lindsey Graham. I hope you are aware of that. And to Barack Obama, we are not going to get Assad until you declare absolute and total war against Russia, Syria, and Iran. People need to be aware of that. And also, a lot of people don't realize, but we were in Vietnam long before the Vietnam War broke out in the 60s. We sent military advisors. In fact, we had been there since the 40s. And in the 50s, they sent military advisors to go in there and train these Vietnamese to fight against the communists. That's exactly what they did. But then it escalated, and they kept sending in more troops and more troops and more troops. And then, boom, we were in Vietnam War that lasted for so many years and killed so many of our own people. So Lindsey Graham and Barack Obama and all of the rest of you chicken hawks, I hope, like hell, you don't send our people to be slaughtered in somebody else's mess. Yes, we created ISIS. Yes, we created this quagmire in the Middle East. This is on us. But the best thing that we can do at this point is get out of there. We have to get out. We can help them rebuild because we owe it to them, because we've done this to them. But continuing to put troops in there and bringing in these military advisors is short-sighted and is provocative against Russia, Iran, and Syria, and even China, because China and Russia's relationship is probably a lot better than the U.S.-Chinese or U.S.-Russian relationship is. You have got to get a hold of your congressman. I realize this is a lost cause normally to contact any of those pieces of junk that are in the White House and even in your local legislature. But we have a duty as Americans to make sure that no more of our children are sent over to these countries to die for somebody else's monetary agenda and war games. It, to these guys in power, Barack Obama, Lindsey Graham, all the rest of the nutbags in office, the people that are dying aren't people. They're just numbers. They are numbers and they are pawns on a big map that they get to move around and play war like a bunch of damn seven-year-olds out pretending like they're in battle in the backyard, filling coffee filters with dirt and using them as pretend bombs or whatever. That's what these people are doing, but they're using real lives to play this game. We have got to tell them to stop. So sure, he says, well, we're only going to send a couple dozen special forces out there to train, advise, and assist. But you have to remember they've done this before and it always leads to the same outcome. War. Do you guys want to go to another war? Do you want to be the middle 
of World War III? Do you want to be Germany in World War II? Because that's exactly what the United States is going to be if there's a third world war. It's not going to be the U.S. and a bunch of other nations against one nation or a couple of nations. No, it's going to be the world against the United States. And our allies don't care enough about us to stick it out. They will walk right out. Because they know we've been doing wrong and they've only been using us because of our pseudo power that we have. People, you have to realize that these things happen. They've happened before. You just watch, just like in Vietnam with the Gulf of Tonkin false flag after the advisors were in there. Once they started to escalate some troops, then the boom, oh, look at that. They sink one of our ships. Right. I've been saying it for months now. Just wait for the false flag to happen. They're just waiting for the perfect opportunity. And then you've got this airplane, this Russian plane. Killed 224 people. Right. Just so conveniently happens it's such a big time in their foreign policy exchanges with other countries that a Russian plane just just blew up in midair and fell to the ground, scattered over six miles. Right. I smell something fishy. But from all that I can see, there's not a whole lot to go on in terms of wrongdoing or something that looks crazy. It's just the circumstance alone that makes me wonder what the hell. Because the pilots did in fact contact air control and said that they were having technical difficulties so it very well might have just been a coincidence but coincidences these days often lead to some kind of perpetrator what better way for the u.s to get back at russia than to down one of its planes i'm not saying that's what happened because i don't know i've been following this story and i haven't really seen anything that sticks out to me yet but I will keep looking and I will keep you guys posted with that. And I will also keep you guys posted with the number of troops that we're sending into Syria and the goings on in Syria because Syria is the hot spot right now. That is going to be the place where the match is struck. That's where the flame will start. So I'll keep an eye on that for you guys. Hit the subscribe button to get regular updates. And keep checking out the channel for more updates on stuff like that. And share this video because we can't have another war, guys. We cannot afford it. We can't afford it financially. And we cannot afford it with American lives. And we shouldn't be. And that's all for right now. This is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Peace out.